We are monitoring the vote on Egypt's new constitution. While the votes continue to be tallied, it appears there's overwhelming support for the military government that ousted President Mohamed Morsi last July. The Muslim Brotherhood did boycott, and we'll take a look at how that and reports of a dissident crackdown affected the vote. The first CCTV's Yasser Hakim has more on the projected outcome of the referendum. A landslide yes vote for the constitution, but it wasn't an easy ride. For the two days of the referendum, there were attempts to disrupt the vote through protests and bomb attacks. Supporters of ousted President Mohamed Morsi were the prime suspects. His Muslim Brotherhood boycotted the voting but still came out to the streets. Many were arrested. Other than the bomb attacks, we also arrested hundreds who tried by force to stop people from going to the poll stations. They would block the roads and attack voters in the streets. Overall, we managed to contain it. On the second day, there were only nine injuries in the whole country. The military-backed interim government wants a convincing yes vote to secure popular endorsement for Morsi's ouster and its roadmap to elections. So it worked hard to ensure turnout was high. The average turnout of voters so far is 45 percent. This is not final. 97.5 percent is the yes vote so far. The turnout in last year's referendum was 33 percent and 64 percent. Indeed, preliminary results show the turnout exceeded the referendum on the constitution during the Morsi presidency. We facilitated procedures for voters. We increased polling stations by 140 percent, which reduced queues and the time spent for each vote. We doubled the number of volunteers and allowed voters who live away from the registered address to vote in alternative locations. Final results are expected in the next few days. For many, this is an endorsement also for Defense Minister Abdel Fattah al-Sisi, the man who ousted Morsi. Many want him to run for president. This is our message to the Minister of Defense. The Egyptian nation wants you as president. Per se, the Brotherhood's failure to disrupt the referendum will further sideline the group. The first stage of the roadmap is seen as a success, but it's not over yet. The Muslim Brotherhood announced that it will still try to stop the parliamentary and presidential elections and reinstate Morsi back to power. Yes, Hakim for CCTV, Cairo.